Hey guys, I'm going to walk you all through my process of building these walls on this flatbed trailer and we're going to get started right now. See how this is going to fit in here. Of course, it's not going to be eight feet tall. So I decided to go ahead and just cut it right in half. Go ahead and make four foot walls. Of course, once I take off the amount that goes into the cleat, then it's really not going to be four feet, but it'll make things simple. All right, so I've got my eight four foot two by fours. And one thing I'm gonna have to do is shave down the, the tips of them so that they fit into this cleat. And I think I'm going to have them come all the way down and actually rest on this. So I'll take, what's that gonna be, eight inches? Let's see, six inches. So I'll, I'll trim them up about six inches on the sides or, uh, so that it'll slip in. That'll be perfect. All right, so I had an idea. Instead of trying to take this, like I've seen some guys do, and chisel down, or chisel up rather, to about here, um, or try to sand it down or whatever it is, I'm just gonna run the whole thing through the planer and get it to the thickness I want. A lot better. We got one side down. I actually cut this this piece to go here, but it comes in at an angle, so I wouldn't have been able to slide slide the whole thing out. And so I just used it right there. I think the weight of it is going to keep it down. I don't have to worry about it bouncing out. Um, if it becomes an issue, I'll make some sort of a fastener down here. Gonna finish up on this, this other side. I'll show you right here. I went ahead just to give it a little bit of styling. Put a 22 and a half degree angle right there. Kind of cool. You can see the moon coming up through the trees. All right, guys. I'm gonna give you a quick tip here. As I'm finishing up this side, I really apologize for the grainy, uh, dark video, but. There's not a lot I can do about it right now. So, oh, those are bright though. Um, what I wanna show you is that as I use these Irwin Quick Grips for everything, oh my gosh. If you're not using the Quick Grips, if you don't own a couple of them, I think I have five or six of them. These are the most powerful ones that I have. They're the, they're the big daddies. And I think that you can get, I wanna say it's 700 pounds of, of pressure on this thing. And then I've got some real tiny ones that I use uh, for smaller smaller things. And they've got some that, that have like a, oh, I don't know, a uh, three foot bar on it. But when you're working by yourself, and uh, yeah, I was, my five year old was helping me, but he can only do so much on um, holding a, a 12 foot board down here at the end, right? So one thing that I do in order to uh, hold the board up on this end is I might go under here and do something like this, right? And then I'm gonna crank on it a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna push, just push to slide it, stick it under here, and I'm gonna crank it up. All right, that's gonna give me a ledge right here to to set one end on. Whoop, sorry about that. My uh, tripod gave way. <clears throat> now, doing this with one hand, I'm gonna find my other quick grip. Here it is. And I do apologize for the audio and the video. All right, I'm gonna get this guy ready and I'm just gonna set him Right there. All right, cool. Two hands would be much easier, but even with one hand, you guys are gonna see firsthand how that's the wrong piece. Looking for this one. 
guys are going to see firsthand how this can be done with just one hand. Actually, that's not true. I'm going to set down the tripod and do it with two. Alright, so I'm going to set this right here and that's going to get that ready, right? Now, with that in supported, and I hope you can see this, I'm just going to simply set this right here, get it lined up at the top, and that's it, right? Okay, now, back to this side. Since it's just resting on it, now I'm going to pop this lever. Basically, you pull on this and it releases the tension. And now I'm going to cinch it down right there. Guys, if you, like I said, if y'all are not using these Erwin Quick Grips, get some. Um, I get mine at Lowe's. I will put a link in the video notes below, right down here, and uh, to Amazon. I haven't price checked them yet. I will let you know if they are more, uh, more there. If you can get them locally, get them locally. If not, go check them out. Check out all the, the options that they've got. They're pretty amazing. see kind of give you an idea it slips in right there this one actually rests right on top of that I think I mentioned before I didn't didn't put this one in and put these braces on here Helps with a little bit of the, the shear this way. Let me know what you think. Tell me down in the comments section all the things I did wrong because I know there's going to be the haters out there. But hey, if you have constructive criticism, give me that too. I'd love to hear it. Um, how can I improve on this thing? What would be easy ways to do it? I was thinking actually hardware cloth uh, in, in between the slats and um, finish off the front. Uh, this thing might even be, you know, with a, uh, with a tarp or something over the top. We could even move goats around in this thing. Who knows? Uh, like I said, tell me down in the comments section. What should I do next to it? What can be modified to make it better? All right, guys. Uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. And we will see you on the next one.